Donut Bag is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Your data is your business. Protect it with ExpressVPN for three extra months free with a one-year package. Go to the link listed in my Twitter profile. All right. So WrestleMania is this weekend. How excited are we for this? How excited? Like just just for both nights, either nights. Or How are excited you- are we? Yeah, how excited. Joey, 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 Joey. Joey. Oh, my goodness. This is the most stupendous two-night WrestleMania ever. (laughs) The most stupendous is the marketing line they came up with. Now, mind you, they're smart. They're not sitting here saying it's the most stupendous WrestleMania ever. Listen to what they're saying when they do this. They're saying it's the most stupendous Two night WrestleMania ever, and it's their second two night. I was gonna say in the history yeah. in the history of of two. So <laughs> yes, it's so, it's it's so gonna be better than last year. Surpass last year, yeah, exactly. So because I'm sitting there like they first started out like most two, like you need top in WrestleMania 17. You're on top in WrestleMania three. Come on, but smart marketing. And I think they've kind of had fun with the whole stupendous tagline too along the way. So they're, they're having some fun with it. It's good to see. I, I think they've in some, in some ways, you know, they're always hit or miss, but I think they've got some decent builds um, and just on the surface. And I know we'll end up starting with Saturday, but I think Saturday overall is the better night of the two right now. Just looking at the card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, personally, I am thrilled that they are doing two nights instead of one night because an eight hour mm-hmm. wrestling show is torture for everyone involved. Uh, too long. That, that, the last too long. one they did, too long. Um, it was the one where Becky beat uh, Charlotte and Ronda Rousey in the triple threat. And yeah, that was like, right. yeah, that, that was like the main event. And that went off at like 1230 in the morning. My goodness. Yeah. This and by then you're much. just like, okay, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to be I mean, football the, the games highlight. for three hours. Yeah. This is supposed to be the highlight of the show. And, and everybody's just, is just so drained. So yeah, mm-hmm. I'm glad they're doing two hours. It's very smart. Uh, yeah, let, let's start with I like, I like the two nights. I wish there, I wish there, I wish from the two nights though, I wish there was some connection between the two nights. Like, I wish there was maybe they did like the Andre the Giant Battle Royal on Saturday night, and then the winner fights for the Intercontinental title on Sunday night. They could do something like that, you know, to kind of connect the two nights together and have a have a kind of a connecting story between the two, but they don't seem to be doing that. They didn't do it last year doesn't look like they're doing it this year they're treating it as two separate entities altogether there's a lot they, they could do with that like remember the one year um daniel bryan had to go through i think batista and then triple h or something like that to win the title you could have had right. you know, one match on one night and one yeah. match another night you could do a tournament right. you know let, let's yeah. say there's t- some title vacated mm-hmm. you could do a tournament where you do it half on one night and half on the other so there's a lot of things you could do there that could be very interesting to, to tie them in together that would be cool absolutely that'd be great uh, but it but looks <laughs> like right now but they won't yeah um but it, it looks like the the main events or at least the, the, the headline the saturday uh show is stone cold steve austin to confront kevin owens on the ko show stone How cold the world is 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 the main event of WrestleMania not a match? <laughs> yeah. What what is this? Um, and now it's predictable. It's going to send the crowd home happy. We all know how it's going to end up with Stone Cold giving him a stunner and drinking his beer in Texas and everything else. And it's 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 the go home, and it's it's exactly what it needs to be. But I just don't think. Yeah, well, you know what, though? I'll tell you what. Maybe it is smart that they do it as a main event because can you imagine putting it on last or second to last and then the crowd is dead for your actual main event? You know, they're so drained from that. That's that's like the crowd high point of the night, even though it's not really the main event. Yeah, but... but- I, 
begrudgingly would say Charlotte Ronda should be the main event, but yeah, well, <laughs> it's going to be KO and uh, the KO show. See, my, my, my problem with it is you have the main event of WrestleMania featuring, okay, you could argue Stone Cold Steve Austin is the greatest, you know, the, the biggest star WWE has ever had, maybe besides Hulk Hogan. You could, you could right. make that argument. Mm-hmm. And yes, it would send the crowd home happy. But it's not like Stone Cold's coming back. It's not like he's going to wrestle. This is like a one-time right. deal. What, mm-hmm. what are you doing making this the main? That's act- what they do, though. That, that's what they do. Do you, I mean, The Rock and John Cena being a main event, The Rock wasn't sticking around. Right. 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 It's all yeah. about the star power, getting the subscriptions, getting the money, getting the fans in the seats. And then, of course, sending the crowd home happy with a, a main event star. And again, it, and I've, you know, we've talked about this a lot. I know it just tells you how hurting they are for stars that Stone Cold Steve Austin in 2022 is in the WrestleMania main event. That is an indictment of the lack of star power that Vince McMahon has built in WWE. I can't imagine the boatload of money that was offered to Austin for this match. I can't imagine the the, the payday. Yeah, he's getting paid because he has said (laughs) for years, for years, they've wanted to bring him back. He's like, no, I'm out of shape. I'm old. I'm you know why, why would i do this <laughs> i think they had to just back up the good the, thing the for him though is it's not a match yeah it's not a match so he can you know just be in a uh a choreographed fight for five minutes and be done and payday boom done that'll be entertaining and, you know, and i think i think kevin owens has done a real nice job i think his parody was hilarious <laughs> um when he dressed up like Stone Cold and they played the music and suckered the crowd in, I thought that was hysterical. <laughs> the, the the bald <laughs> yes. cap that was very that, funny. That never yeah. gets old when they and that never gets old when they play the music and everyone's all like yeah, and then he doesn't <laughs> come out. That never gets old, man. <laughs> yeah, and good for him. He deserves it. He deserves yeah. everything. The the guy works his butt off. Like we like we talked about talking about before this. Yes, he does. Know, he did that. He did the Mick Foley spot where he jumped off of a cage through a table and nobody talks about it. That's incredible. No one he, talks he, about it. That's a shame. It's a shame. He, <laughs> he he puts the work in. He's paid his dues. So good for him to be, you know, in this mm-hmm. in this high profile spot. So that's that's cool. Um, really interesting that they put both women's championship matches on night one. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm still a little perplexed by that because. You have the KO show, like Seth is a draw, and on night two, I mean, you have Brock and Roman Edge and AJ, but night two could use one of those women's matches, I think, definitely. They could use one of those, and I'm, I am, I'm surprised as well, because that means like one of them virtually has to go early in the show or maybe even start the show. Right, right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe they start with Lynch and Belair, and um that's that's a that's a tough uh that's tough for the, for the women's division i think they because i know they're doing the tag on sunday night but i think they should should have separated those two out for sure to me night two is brock versus roman and then a lot of i don't want to say filler but a lot of things mm-hmm. i just don't care that much about exactly Nemo. yeah and, and meanwhile stacked. night one both women's championship matches should be cool. Right. Um, the Seth versus mystery opponent, who is pretty sure is Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. That's gonna be, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then and then there's the the Logan Paul thing interests me because I'm always <laughs> interested to see what a celebrity does. Yeah, um, I, I uh, okay, look, I <laughs> I you don't have high do hopes it. for Logan Paul. <laughs> I don't. I okay. First of all, Bad Bunny set the bar way up here. Yeah. All right, with his performance, yeah, he killed it. Okay, I think there's too much 
celebrity involvement in the most stupendous two night WrestleMania event ever. Um, Cause night two, and we'll talk about it. You have McAfee doing a thing, Logan Paul. I, I mean, I'll say this, putting it with the Miz, best idea. Miz can get the most out of anybody being his partner and shepherding him along. Ray, of course, is, uh, while he's not my favorite character, um, he is, you know, a veteran. He, he's a Rick veteran. And the whole mask thing, and I get it. They did that. And that's cool. And I'll, I, I still want Dom to turn on Ray at some point. You know, <laughs> I think that would be awesome if that happened. You know what? This now. would be a good time. And, and Dom connected with Miz, right? He went. This would be a Miz's good ring. time. It's like, hey, you're, hey, old man, you're. Uh, I'm going with the. I'm going with the hip, cool people, the young people. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're. Yeah, Dom, Dominic turning on Ray would be cool. Finally, I mean, it's, it's, it's got to happen. It's got to happen eventually. We keep calling it right? every time we do these things. I know. I every time I've called it, I've been wrong every time. But yeah, yeah, I'd like to see that actually happen um i i want to see um i don't know that i want to see logan paul get the pin but i understand how these celebrity things work and that's more than likely what's going to happen he, he's there for the name value so i I, yeah. I think somebody did a um like 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 just looked back at like all of the celebrities that have ever wrestled in wrestlemania and i think every single mm. one has won except for like WrestleMania two when it was a bunch of football players in a uh, players in the battle royal yeah. <laughs> in a battle royal that was it. Other than that, I think every time a celebrity wrestles, they yeah, win. The celebrities so. usually come out on top somehow. But I mean, a good way to do that though would be Dom turning on Ray and Logan Paul pinning Ray. That would be a good way to do. Yes, it. yes, and then so, you, you and then finally you have start another storyline to kick off on Monday night for Ray and Dawn. You know, um. So we got uh, we got the KO show. We got that Seth. Let's let's talk about Seth and uh, the incoming Cody Rhodes. Uh, sorry, spoilers, um, <laughs> but everybody knows it pretty much. I just don't. Seth's character is not resonating with me. I mean, maybe we're supposed to not like him, and I guess his Cody coming in as the face because Seth's whole laughing thing is super annoying. It's supposed to be, so it's doing its job. But I just don't, I'm not as into Seth Rollins as I used to, I'm sorry, Seth freaking Rollins as I used to be. Um, I think they're going to put on a hell of a match. I think it'll be very entertaining. I'm just not like, well, something just doesn't just felt off in the build to me a little bit. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it is. They're not handling Seth correctly. They're not. Mm. They're not handling that whole family correctly. They're not handling Becky uh, correctly either. But uh, right. But uh, yeah. yeah, they're not. They're not doing. They're not. Um. They're. They're just. Seth is. He just seems lost. He just seems he, lost yeah, as a character. Yeah. They his, needed his they character needed to seems lost. Yeah. Um, it needs to just be more solidified into really what what is his character. Um, I, I wish he would maybe go to SmackDown so he could feud with uh, Roman because that was fun. Yeah, yeah, when they the way they did that when he came out wearing the, the shield outfit, yeah. and all that I mean, yeah, that was great stuff. Um, but um, this whole thing with Cody Rhodes is fascinating. Um, Cody was a you can't call it a defector, but I mean, Cody basically founded AEW, right? And yeah. now he's now he left. It's this is now not who knows what WWE actually thinks of of AEW, whether they think of them as competition or what. Mm -hmm. But if you want to say to other people in AEW, and AEW does have some stars that used to be in mm -hmm. in in, in uh, WWE, you want to say, hey, if you come back, we'll treat you right. So yeah. maybe they'll do. I mean, remember Cody Rose was freaking stardust. You know that well, I don't I know why was he if he comes out as Stardust, I'm just gonna, oh. I'm turning the channel. Yeah, I'm turning the channel. <laughs> like, don't do that to him, man. He can be more. He can be more than yeah. that. Yeah, uh, and so. he doesn't need to be that. But I know that it's funny because you know Vince has always had an affliction for having the other guys come in and being put over. Some exceptions, of course, along the way, but. Yeah, you know, look what he Sting. did to Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, okay. Sting. Oh. You know, Dusty Rhodes with the polka dots and everything. And, you know, they, you're always bringing in a guy from the outside, so they can't be better than your guy. 
Right. But Cody has to go over. What he they has did, to go over. He cannot come in and debut and lose. Right. 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 There is this thing. And it's not just WWE. I think it's like every promotion. When you have the competition come in, you always want to make them look bad to show that you were that you were you're actually superior. better. Yes, yeah. You're the superior um, product. Yeah. What they did to Dusty Rhodes with those those yellow polka dots, I still will never forget because he is Dusty uh, is my idol. Dusty is 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 he's it. WWE put hard times on Dusty Rhodes. Oh <laughs> boy. Hey new bias. <laughs> Yo, what's up, gentlemen? Hey, hey. Nabias is here. Hello, so we're, hello. We are talking about the we're Cody Rhodes no, thing, <laughs> the, the mystery opponent. Um, and we were just talking about how... The um, mystery elite opponent? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Um, I wonder if it's someone who recently got totally the AEW roster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're just j- just wondering how he's going to be handled. I'm speculating that they're, that he's going to be treated very well because Vince is going to want to tell the other AEW people, hey, come on back. You know, we're, we're cool. We'll, we'll treat you good. Well, just because we screwed you before, we, we, we'll, we'll be good to you now. So you think you think they'll be good to him or do you think they're going to like – Yellow polka dot Dusty Rhodes him or 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 sting him like like uh, when when Sting faced uh, Triple H a few years ago. I don't know. I mean, how much is the money? How much is the contract? I mean, right. What's in right. the contract? How much is it? Is it worth it to him? Mm-hmm. I mean, like, because this is business, if you will. Okay, taking care of business. Business, <laughs> and this is where it gets real. Like, hey, listen. Are you willing to deal with the indignity of wearing the polka dots for <laughs> this amount of money? Now, if he comes out in polka dots, I'll laugh at that. That's yeah, that. I mean, but then well, that would be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, Come out to the same theme, <laughs> but it, but if he comes in as as Stardust, not uh, so funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like uh, it's it's okay. Listen, what is really going to boil? And this is why I hate that we have lost kayfabe, okay? This conversation mm-hmm. is why I hate that kayfabe is dead because these are the kind of conversations I have in my career of covering sports. Like, oh, how much is this guy's contract worth? And if that contract is going to place yeah. with this part of the free agency, oh, well, this the Pirates can't spend much money because, well, Bob Nutting's broke. Or right. not that he's literally right. broke, but you get, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I, that, yeah. I had to deal with that in real life, like contract numbers and why they matter, and even covering college sports now, NIL, and all this other bull. No, I just want to focus <laughs> on two guys beat the hell out of each other to ring. Yeah. But yeah. since we can't focus on that, we have to be honest and say, hey, listen, it's going to really boil down to how much control he wants out of the situation, assuming that this is what it's going to be, because you, you never know. You never know. You never know, which is why we still watch, because every now and then we could think it's going to be a thing, and they still swerve us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know I That's, use a little bit of language. But. Yeah, yeah. That that I I was just I was saying before you came in, Cody has to go over. He has to go over in this match. You can't debut and lose. Well, I mean, but that's the thing, though. But here's the thing. But in theory, we think we know it's Cody. Okay, and most likely uh, it is. If it's not Cody, there's wow. a problem. I'm yeah. just saying, we believe that it is. Everything tells right. us it is. But the magic of wrestling, at least the wrestling that I grew up on, was, you know what? There's, you still never know. You know what would be amazing, as I put my booking hat on, if it wasn't Cody Rhodes, okay? And I don't know who it would be, right? What if it was the but- man from Chicago? Okay, that would be insane. That's not <laughs> that's not Who? happening. But that's but that's the fun <laughs> of this, Dean. Like, I mean, you're right. In real life, that probably didn't happen. But the fun of this is when the rest, the way I grew up on wrestling was, oh that yeah, could happen. That could happen, right? That if Cody wasn't the guy, and everyone's like, well, what happened? Where's Cody? And Cody it's got right involved. Back. Cody got involved Sunday night in the Brock Roman match and determined that outcome. Ooh. But see, that's what I'm saying. There's so many ways to do it because, again, the opponent he would be wrestling would also be someone who, I mean, do you really want to keep pounding losses on Seth? 
if you yeah. actually want him to do something. He can take it. He can take it at this point. He can take it and still be a believable contender in the world title picture, I think. Yeah, I mean, he could jump into that, you know, any time because of mm. his reputation and, and his ability. Like, but depending they, on how you how you book that match. So yes, if he, if he takes correct. It, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. They need to do something with Seth. They need to, to do something. Okay, okay. Something let, him, let him lose to mystery opponent, Cody, whatever. But they need to do something else with him. I would be perfectly okay. Like I said a minute ago, take him to take him to SmackDown. Let him feud with Roman. Roman needs somebody. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. But if you just give him another L, you're not gonna believe he's gonna beat Roman. That's true. That's true. You give him. Yeah, I mean, that's... like that's the thing. Like, like they do this thing where like they box themselves in such small corners. Because yeah. no, if he doesn't beat mystery opponents, let's say Cody. Okay, now Cody looks bad if Cody doesn't win. But if you give Seth another loss. Why, if he can't beat Cody Rhodes, why would you believe he could beat Seth? I mean, why would you believe he could beat Roman? Right, that's true. Okay, that's but that's, then they have to spend then they have to spend some time just building up Seth's character again and maybe retool his character because I don't believe yeah. his character has a strong foundation of a direction right now. Well, how many so times think, can you do? How many times can you do the training montages and do the evil things or whatever and all the ways he's channeling his darkness? But then when it comes time for a real fight, he gets his ass kicked. Well, that's why they got when they do a retool, they, they have to do it differently and actually creatively this time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, are me, you counting on them to do that? No. Are me? Are you counting on them to do that? I mean, but that, that's that's the that. problem with almost every <laughs> single wrestler is you it's it's all this 50-50 booking. It's like if if there were yeah. wins loss records for every wrestler, they would probably be like right around five hundred. They just okay. win some, they lose some. Yeah, it, except it, for Roman and Brock. Except for yeah, yeah and yeah. but they need more elite level talent that has the better win loss record. And like we said, and, what what does it say when the the headliner of night one is a guy that hasn't wrestled in twenty some years, and is basically an an old time act? You know, yeah. What I guess, yeah. I guess, I guess Goldberg who was maybe shouldn't be in there. Okay. Yeah, that was like, yeah, the reason why his in ring career stopped, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's that's why it's not a match, though. I mean, it's so it's more a controlled fight where Austin doesn't get hurt. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm okay with. And give Kevin Owens credit for the work he's doing in this. I think he's mm. doing some heavy lifting. Yeah, he is. Yes. I, yep. I really think that he deserves more. I know he doesn't fit the way that Vince wants a person to look, but. He looks more like I look more like him than I, I look do. more like him too. So yeah, so like, I'm gonna side with him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I, I have a better chance to look like Kevin Owens or Otis Absolutely. than I do uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, Charlotte versus Rhonda. It's basically, I mean, Rhonda's probably gonna win, right? God, I hope so. <laughs> I am just done with Charlotte's character. I'm done with it. I am done with it. It is just stale. It's okay? very stale. Talking about someone that needs a retooling of their character. Yeah. It's Charlotte. And it's just now on the flip side, Rhonda is, is a better heel than a face. Like she's not particularly likable as a yeah. face. And so you could end up. Okay, let me ask you this. How good is Rhonda really at wrestling? I mean, I know as an MMA fighter, she's great, but how good is she at wrestling? She's she's good at, at she's good enough to be in a main event with Charlotte. She that ain't what I enough. asked you, man. <laughs> she's good. She's not elite level. She's not Belair. She's not Charlotte. She's not Becky. Right. Okay, she's not at that level in wrestling. So, but what her and Shayna are the type of of wrestlers that need to use what they have from MMA translate it to wrestling to make it look believable where they're not actually breaking someone's arm or wrist right. and, and use that as their style. And so I think Rhonda has done, and Shayna actually too, is that they've both done a really good job of assimilating over to the choreographed fights as opposed to one where you're going to really snap someone's arm. I like a Ronda Rousey match. I like, I like the court, the, MMA style and the and, and she does a little bit of wrestling and it, it works for me. 
You're not a fan it, of bias? It's not, it's not her fault. It's just not believable. Because the way she works, because we because we know. Like it's not like, okay, in the 80s in Memphis, they bring in this guy who they say won all the bar fights in the world, but you don't have any actual video of those bar fights. So however he worked in the wrestling ring, you believe that Big John Stud could do these things because he just won all these bar fights. He's this super strong dude. Right. I know how Ronda Rousey performed in the MMA. And what she does there isn't what she would do here. When typically speaking, anybody who's in a fight are going to go back to the things that are more naturally able to help them win that fight. But then how does that translate with Brock Lesnar? Well, Brock Lesnar does it with just throwing people around and just beating the hell out of folks. I mean, <laughs> uh, seven I mean, F5 is called cool. a night. That's what he does. <laughs> well, also, too, like Lesnar bored me for a while, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. And, I, and we, we said, like, Lesnar for a while was like, yeah. and honestly, like, I'm still not a big Lesnar fan, but I mean, when he just picks up, you know, when I guess one day eventually him and Omos go at it, which I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. Um, mm-hmm. He like dunks Omos on his head like Bobby Lashley did or tried to do. I'm like, oh, okay. I really right. believe you now. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Uh, I get what you're saying. Um, I think Ron is going to go over. And mm-hmm. I think that's the right choice. And, um, you know, I, I I don't know what they, they do with Charlotte from there. I don't they know. They need to do something. They need to do something. Um they also need to do something with Becky because I'm tired of this heel crap. She's clearly a baby face. Clearly the crowd wants to cheer for her. Stop with this crap. Just she's make trying her. so hard to she's yeah. she's Literally, trying very she's hard, cool. but the crowd just loves her. Like they're never gonna do anything to, to stop that. Right. They 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 haven't figured out that the crowd decides who the faces and the heels are. They still haven't decided. They fi- they haven't figured that out yet. Well, the well, crowd the problem always in WWE. decides. But the thing is, though, should the crowd decide? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, the fans should decide. The, the fans, The Rock would have never turned face if the crowd didn't will that to happen. No, I, get I mean, it. he was a heel in the nation. And... He, he all of a sudden people just started cheering See, him. Well, remember he was a face. They hated him so much. Yeah, die right. Rocky die that they made yeah. him turn heel and in, in, in and nation, then he got popular. So. Go yeah. figure. The crowd yeah. decided. The crowd decided about Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan is not a WWE champion. Okay, but the crowd decided. Kofi Kingston. The crowd decided. Kofi, was gonna Kofi be a champion. Mania was one of my favorite things in, in the past like five years. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. so much fun. Drew McIntyre organic. Once Drew McIntyre, the the, react, the pop when he knocked Brock Lesnar out of the Royal Rumble a couple years ago. Yeah. That made him. The fans it, will it make you. I mean, I get that. I understand that. And y'all aren't wrong. It just also kind of goes against if they're still trying to pretend. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, I get you. I get you. Because I mean, still, because honestly, because like, you know, I lived in Pittsburgh for a while. Like, they clearly don't care what the, the Pirates clearly don't care what the fans think about what they what roster they put on the field. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't care. They're gonna put that roster on the field because that's the roster mm-hmm. they're gonna put on the field. Either you're gonna come watch it or you're not. Bob Nutting or, was a great heel. Or not. He's a great. Yeah. He's, he's a the great, best he's heel. A, he's. He got the evil GM thing going perfectly. The evil authority, authority figure. No question. Perfect. No question. <laughs> no, no, but question. I mean, but I'm just, but you get what I'm saying. I'm joking yeah. about that. But I'm saying it's part of that thing of like people are what they are. But well, go ahead. Uh, uh, Stone Cold, when he turned heel, that was a disaster. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't work. It didn't the work. Fans didn't want it. But, but if he, if you never tried, you would have never known what was going to happen. So you could try things. You could try. Hey, they tried. Okay, fine. They tried. You know, you would have never known if, if Becky was just a face the whole time. He's like, well, what, what would she do as a heel? Well, now we know. So it's cool to try things, but when it clearly doesn't work, then you got to go back to what the people But want. I would argue that it is working still because Becky gets reactions. She does get reactions, and that's what you need. As, lo- so as long I as you don't. Think, don't yeah. yeah, go ahead. As then long as there's on apathy. As long, as long as you don't have X-Pac heat, you're good. You know? Yeah. 
as long as people aren't like literally where they hate you, where they just turn their backs on you. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I get it. Like in the true sense of like what we believe heels faces that matters. But I don't think really heels and faces have mattered since the eighties. Like really actually mattered. Yeah. And when's I the agree. last time it really matters? Like when it comes to merch sales, everything else, heel sale merch. Like once, like once the back, end of, yeah, once the NWO happened, they became the cool heels. The cool yeah. heels. The whole dynamic changed. You're right. And then the cool heels, the heels always want to be cool and they actually want to be liked. Yeah. And an yeah. actual yeah. heel should be hated. And Wait, just, but yes. Even the horsemen were cool heels, though. Yes, oh, they yeah. were. They became right. like, hey, they man, were. they're wearing they the suits, they the watches. Were. Like, you could go back and watch. You can see dudes show up to the matches dressed yeah. like horsemen, right. even though they were right. the bad guys who would break <laughs> Tully's leg or Dusty's leg or whatever happened. <laughs> or, you yeah. know, they'd break Jake and Sake Roberts. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were the bad guys, but they were people who embraced it because they also fit into the right. 80s, the Flash, that there were people who wanted to be that. I think now in our society in particular, there's people who want to be bad people. Yeah. Oh, there's people who want to be heels. Like Miz is a great heel. Um, Edge is a great heel. Edge Mm -hmm. has always been a great heel. You know, and they're ones that try to be hated. They don't try to be the cool heel. They want to be hated. They want to be booed. And that's what you need out of a great heel character. Roman Reigns has done it fantastically. Mm -hmm. The, you know, the, you, the funny thing is, I think I thought Matt Riddle was the best heel of WWE for a while. Now he's like <laughs> totally loved with the because I mean, basically, Randy has just put his arm around him and just brought him along and done the whole mentoring thing. And yeah, good lord, I hope one day Riddle turns on him, it's gonna be great. That's, um, that's gonna you, be great. you hit it right on the head, though. Everybody under the sun thinks that Randy Orton's gonna be the one to turn on Riddle. It needs to be Riddle, turn it needs on to be, if yeah. you want to make Riddle, if you want to yes. make him. You make Riddle turn on him and yes. catch him slipping, outsmart him, and be like, "Yeah, I don't need you anymore, Randy. I'm a man yeah. now." Oh yeah. boy, you talk about uh-huh. nuclear heat because like money, money, money. <laughs> if, if you're smart, yo, know, because if Randy just turns on him, he just crushes him and he goes back to yeah, the, it's the same thing. Know. Yeah, yeah. If you really want to make it, have him turn on Randy. And boost him because he's a guy who has a smackable face. He except does. for the fact that, <laughs> except for the fact that it's not like Will Smith, Will Smith going to smack Chris Rock, <laughs> who's several inches shorter and about 50 pounds smaller. No, no, right, no, no, right. no. You're gonna be Chris Rock size in a situation where you felt your wife was wrong, and now you gotta go slap Matt Riddle. That's what makes it work because yes, he has a smackable face. But he'd also probably kick your ass. And that ain't he's, fun. That is he's got that MMA fun. background too, which they haven't really used with him as much, which mm-hmm. they should. That he's he's got, you know, moves that look like they could legit hurt you. They right. could and they could push Riddle to the moon if they wanted to. He has yeah. he has mm-hmm. the potential there. So yeah, because yeah. I mean that's just the and it's so easy because again, like he has the look, the dude bro thing. Mm-hmm. He resembles a lot of what we think, quite honestly, he almost looks like an AEW wrestling fan. Right. Yeah. And the fact that either one of you got to fit about it tells you exactly what you mean. You know what I mean by what I'm saying? An AEW fan kind of like mm-hmm. presents in like that weird movement of dudes that is their fan yeah. base. He fits it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, make him the heel. Yeah. And also, he can kick your ass, and which really makes you hate. Because yes. literally, you feel like you can't do anything about it, and the only right. thing you can do about it is maybe go get that one guy who's bigger. Yeah. You that can makes run a great that deal. Food. You can that run that for years. Yeah. So we got the rest of night one here. We got uh, three matches that I think no one cares a ton about. Drew and yeah. Happy Corbin. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, they stole, his, they stole his sword again. Wow, they never did that before. More um, 50-50 boogie. Yeah, Usos and Shinsuke and Boogs. Oh God, I, I, I yeah, I. The you know, Usos are. Them. They need to do something with the Usos. They, they need. To, that's another. I want to see Boogs wrestle. Though. I don't think I've ever seen him wrestle. Uh, Boogs is uh, he's been wrestling. He's he's strong. He's a strong. I know. Dude. I'm saying like, most of I just mostly 
Kenoda with the guitar. I hadn't really seen him really get down. No, he's 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 doing all right in there. You know, I think it's good he's paired with Shinsuke. Oh, cool. And then and then New Day and Seamus and Ridge Holland. I'm not big on the Ridge Holland character yet. Um, but the New Day is also you know, I think it's, it's just sad because of course this is supposed Big to be e, terrible. This, that, yeah, yeah it was supposed to be e. what happened with Big E. That that, that just really stinks. It's real yeah. bad, bad beat for him, man. I feel for so, him. So yeah, so yeah. Hopefully he could. Hopefully that's not the end of his career. Hopefully I he hope can not. From that. I just hope. I just I hope mean, he recovers. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh you know, it was supposed to be the end of Daniel Bryan's career. It was supposed to be the end of you know. It was supposed to be the end of Edge's Edge, career. Yeah. So you know he could come back. There's always still, hope. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you talk about before you got hurt. You talk about someone they did wrong. My God, Biggie Big e? was. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so that was just criminal. Good. It's like he didn't even get a chance to even try to yeah. show he could do anything, no, he which just not. looked really terrible because he's got the size, he's got the look. yeah, he's got everything the Vince wants, and he's, he's got the character. He's likable. I mean, I don't understand why. I don't know. Electric don't on know the mic, happened. good looking. Yeah. yeah. Well, he had unless yeah, is there another factor in there, maybe? I'm just saying, unless you don't. Not saying, just saying. Right, you right, don't right. think the black guy is handsome and good looking and dashing. Unless it's what you think. I I, I, I would There's hate to no, think that that's still a factor. I, I hope that's today, not what it I, is, but I'm just saying, but like, he's a handsome be. guy. Yeah. He's got the muscles. He's got the height. He he's has got everything. The ring, he's got the ring yes. work. Yeah. What, unless maybe he's not a bad, maybe he's not a good person, but. Look, I also cover college sports. Talk to people who coach him in Iowa. How just a kind, respectful guy he is. Oh, I've I've heard nothing but good things about him. Great yeah, ambassador like, for the company. I mean, he's a guy you want as your champion. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's the guy you want representing you in public and events and everything else. I would really hope it's not racial related because I can't think of anything other anything. Yeah, else. I hope not. I, I I I don't think it's a racial thing. I think it's just the WWE booking and is just incompetent as hell. I mean, well, we, that's another problem too. But I, that's I think, also that's also one of the ways that racism works at times. I'm not saying that they're being racist in this. I'm saying is, okay, is the white person who's keeping me down because I'm black also incompetent, or is it just that they're incompetent? Not saying that you you know what I'm saying, like yeah, right, right. You have to think about it. Like, is it just straight up incompetence? <laughs> Or is it race related incompetence? It's possible. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, you will know. never know. But those he, are the he hard checks marks. all the boxes. He is yeah. he has charisma coming out out the mm-hmm. out the wazoo. He mm-hmm. has he has everything you want. Uh, my concern was he was when when he went from uh, being part of the new day to a singles wrestler. It's like, well, you went from a comedy act to now your own thing. But he mm-hmm. made it work. He made it work. Uh, yep. He. he well, he built it too. Like he still plays some of the comedy, but he's yeah. like, "Okay, it's now serious time." Yeah, it's go time. Sorry. <laughs> right. One one of my favorite things recently was be- this is before he became champion. He won Money in the Bank, and he would show up every week on SmackDown and just get in Paul Heyman's yeah. face. It's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be champion." <laughs> that was right. funny. That was that well, was thanks. cute. Yeah, it, it works for the character. Yeah, Paul he played it well. Rolled as I did the whole thing, but like even with stuff like that, like okay, I can even understand if you look at Titus O'Neil and you can maybe pick apart little things. But even then, like Titus O'Neil has the height. Titus mm-hmm. O'Neil has the college football. It's got the body, the body, yep. the pedigree. Now Titus probably maybe isn't the best worker. Okay, mm-hmm. right. If you wanted to nitpick that. The, the charisma great. really isn't there. The 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 the, the, the yeah. but, but you could you could you could do something with that. You could create exactly. Anything. You could just put in things you can do with you it. Give him a give him a manager. You just yeah. give him a manager. Yeah, yeah. You give give him MVP. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. And um. so those are things that you that you kind of wonder. It's like man, like. But hey, it's but it's it's further than it has been though. It has. I mean, because we have. We have had Kofi as champion. We've had mm-hmm. Biggie as champion. And I mean, they're, Lashley. They're, it's Lashley. Yes. I like what they're doing with Lashley. It's getting I like the Lashley almost better. match. I yeah, let's jump tonight too. Lashley almost. They made Lashley last night. Lashley almost. I'm, yeah. I'm looking to I'm I'm looking forward to to seeing how Lashley handles the big man. I mean, it's uh it, it's it's a hoss fight, you know. <laughs> it's gonna be fun to to see if he can get how him tall off. Lashley, by the way, like six two. I, he looks so small next to Elmas. He does. Everybody really. does. 
All right. That's the whole thing, right? What's how tall? Let's see. He's six, Lashley's six three. Six three. That's not a small man. Okay. No, he's not. <laughs> but he's like seven inches shorter than um. An almost. Almost, because I mean, almost who played college basketball. That dude is just huge. Almost is seven <laughs> three. He's a foot shorter. A, than <laughs> yeah, his body lashes is literally seven, a foot shorter three. than. And what was what, what was um what, what was um uh, almost his playing weight? If we can, I don't know. They're saying his weight is three hundred ninety nine pounds. Wow. I mean, but you, you know, know like booking weight is different from. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what he what his weight was when he played a. Uh, when he when he played uh, basketball, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's. I'm just saying, it's a large man, and Lashley's not a small dude. Like, like in most, like if Lashley walked into most rooms, he would stick out. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And that size with that with the way he's it's and, his physique and everything. Absolutely. Yes, I mean, you are going to notice. I do not. Guy. I do not have the physique of Bobby Lashley. I have mm. the Kevin Owens. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, listen, but, but you're still the same ring. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Body posse, baby. Uh, but no, yeah. um, but still, Bobby Lashley is Bobby, maybe one of, if we're to be real, you look at the roster, maybe five dudes who you legitimately believe could, if it was a straight up just fight, could oh, yeah. catch almost slipping. There are not many. I mean, there are not many. You say Roman, Brock, Bobby. Roman, Brock, Lashley. Um, Even just looking who's on the WrestleMania card. Um, It'll just be interesting. It's believable, you know. What they do with with almost because, like, what do you do with someone that's that big? Yeah. He's almost. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, Seriously, like you, if you got into a fight with a man that large, most of us probably die. Okay, I mean, he's he one inch. Take, take him down where he's at your level. He's <laughs> one inch shorter than on Billy Club. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. just saying one between the legs because it's probably at the level of your. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, you and run like, and run like, like you're punching up. Blood. Just if you run. go between his legs for the average human, you're going to be at his knees. So, like, yeah, yeah, just run after that. Just run, run away fast. Yeah, Have I mean, a car like said, Lashley's <laughs> a full foot shorter than him. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's not, you know, you've been in a lot of rooms, like, you you covered like NBA yeah. basketball. Well, like, you've interviewed or like, been around somebody who's like 16, oh, yeah. 6, 11. Like, Auburn has his kid, Walker Kessler. Okay. The guy's 7 1. I am five, seven and a half, okay? Three quarters on a good day, depending on what day I went to the doctor, right? You know, <laughs> hey, give me my three quarters, you know, I'm just saying. I'm you take like, it, you, man, need, you take it all. Listen, you would need right a in. giant stick to, 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 to interview him. It's like, hey, no, hey, hey how are you? Yeah, so, no, everything right. was on Zoom for a while. <laughs> but then I met him in person. I was like, hey, Walker, my name's Dubai. I like, talk to you on Zoom sometimes. <laughs> And he's like, oh, my goodness. And he comes down and he bends down and he shakes my hand. <laughs> Hello, little guy. Yes, Hi. yes, yes. Like, like, when I'm, so like when I'm talking to a five-year-old. Are you? Yeah, <laughs> literally. And, I mean, and, and, and like he, a cookie? He, he wasn't he was so graceful and so ginger when he did it. Because, again, he's probably yeah. this, this been his whole life. And he's like, oh, yeah, man, I know you. And he's like, hey. And I'm like, hey, hey. I mean, when, and I'm a, literally an average, like, height American right. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And no, that man hasn't been down to shake my hand. And you're saying almost a 7'3". That's still two more inches. And bigger. That is scary, okay? Yeah. And you're literally a giant. Yes. But if Lashley, like, gave him a German suplex or something like that, that would be amazing. Yeah, Lashley's gonna them, get a or... he's gonna get a showcase roll out of it, but I think Omos should go over, give give yeah. uh give the big man some props and let him yeah, move but on then, but, thing, but what do you ever do with Omos? Because I mean, if he could beat Bobby Lashley, then there's no one. Okay, there's <sighs> like... What do you do? That's the thing. What do you? Yeah, do with it him? is the problem. What do you do with them? Because unless... it's... yeah, go ahead, I'm sorry. Unless unless you you keep him out of the main event picture by tag teaming him again with somebody else. 
Okay, because all right, here's the deal. If in theory, if someone could come and beat Bobby Lashley in a match, because one, they're not gonna let Bobby Lashley lose a match unless it's someone important. Mm -hmm. But right. also, too, like how many dudes on the roster could really beat Bobby Lashley in a fight? You know what actually yeah. may happen in this one? You know what? I'm thinking about it. It might be a schmaz, it might be a count out, it might be something like that. It or, may not yeah, be just an MVP. MVP it's turns not on be, him. Not going to be a clean finish. What if MVP one? turns on Lashley and 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 makes uh it becomes a manager of him? MVP wasn't out there last week. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, hey, there could be things. I mean, there could be ways to play it, but like, yeah. But it's, but, but, but like, if, okay, if you could beat Lashley in a fight, all right. <laughs> in theory. There's no one who you couldn't beat because who because who could you say on the yeah. roster that Lashley couldn't be? Right. So therefore, if you get that win, in theory, you are a title contender. Right. right. And that's why maybe a count out or a disqualification or something like that. That's the thing. Slows like, that yeah. roll a little bit. What and it protects Lashley in the process, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what do you guys think of McAfee and Austin Theory? Let, let's, I am let's, let's talk about actually this excited. Pat what? McAfee. Oh, my really? God. Have you seen Pat McAfee wrestle? The dude's no. legit. The dude is what? a legit is athlete. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's athletic. Um, I mean, but people don't understand. People don't understand. Like, kickers are football players. Okay, I was a kicker. Jeez, oh, man. He. <laughs> no, I'm saying, but like, he had, <laughs> yeah. He went from the he, he leapt on. He just took one one. He could do one leap onto the on the top rope. That's how strong mm -hmm. his legs are. Okay. And, listen, I, and, and, and that's not easy because, like, again, because, like, look, I'm, I, I do box jumps and stuff. I can, do, I can do up to 30 inches, which is already wild. That's way higher than that. And just on a bounce and just because you felt like it. No, yeah. that's different. Okay, but. No, I don't Austin think he would win. I'm telling you, I think he's. I think he, he's going to be a, a surprise, not bad bunny level surprise, but I think he. I think Pat McAfee okay, can put on I a good will, match. I will. I will reserve judgment till we see it. I'm not off. I've just game. been not excited about it. I, I, McAfee is just someone I just don't. He doesn't resonate with me. Pat McAfee and, is there the same reason that Logan Paul is there because. Yeah, but I understand that McAfee. Well, yeah, he relates to. And, and, and I understand I'm getting to a top of your, your TV demo. Okay. So I understand you've got, to, you have to appeal to the younger crowd and McAfee appeals to that. And that's great. But, but, and that, that's the what they got to do. It's not yeah. just the younger crowd. It's a very specific crowd that McAfee appeals to. Right. And, and it's a very specific crowd that WWE is Katie yes, like, that's true. That's their yeah. perfect yeah. audience yeah. right there. Of the world. It's yeah. A, yeah. I mean, it's a very specific type of sports fan. Quite honestly, I'm just being real. I think y'all know me well enough. They're not my type of sports fan, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, McAfee is actually a good dude. I have interactions with him. Okay. Right. He's a pleasant guy. You know what I'm saying? But who he caters his talk to is not who I want to be around. Mm -hmm. All right. And I just, I just, even how he handles himself at the, at, at the, at the commentary desk, it's just like, I find it annoying. Oh, he's I don't very find much it, a I don't find it entertaining. On. I well, find it annoying. Because he is one of those guys who is always looking for a fight. Mm -hmm. That's the way he commentates about it, which typically speaking, if you've never been a consistent worker, if you get those opportunities, that's not how you talk about the workers. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But yeah. he played in the NFL, even though he's a punter, but, you know, still is in shape, in fit, and all that stuff. Right, right, right. But yeah. it just comes off a certain way. But that's also his fan base. Yeah. Same, same they all things up. said, though, if Austin Theory does not win, Austin Theory is ruined. Yeah, pretty much. He's, he's but done. I'm not Austin Theory. I, I, he's got potential. Like, remember how Rocky Maivia started. Mm -hmm. I always say that, you know, so I'll always give a guy a chance. I think he's, you know, he's got some potential for down the line. He has to win. He has to win this match on, on Sunday. Yeah, you can't lose to a. You can't yeah. lose to a commentator. 
this, this is yeah i was gonna say you know celebrities don't lose but he's not really a celebrity he's actually yeah he's actually so, yeah it's it's, it's, it's kind of like when when right. jim ross wrestled jerry the king lawler or some yeah. crap like that it's, it's basically yeah, what but we're even that's, i mean i'm just saying like you can't have i mean unless you're gonna make okay unless you're gonna make pat work right which Just i don't think he doesn't need to win this match unless he's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna pursue a wrestling career now. All right, cool. Then okay, fine. If it's not that he's gonna go back to the booth, then no, dude, you don't need to win. There's really no exactly. reason for you're right. There's no reason for McAfee to win. That does nothing unless you said unless they make him a, a full time wrestler. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. There's there's no there, that that really does nothing for because it's like, hey, wait a minute. You know what? In my training, I realized I can do this and. Yeah, and and the other times that he has wrestled, he lost. Right, he he, he wrestled in in NXT against Adam Cole, and he wrestled, I think, in a war game thing, and he lost. So he's you know, yeah, he's okay with yeah. losing. So we'll see. Um, well, what about Knox Johnny Knoxville? Also, it's so yeah. boring though. By the way, it's like you couldn't just work find somebody else to work up with Austin Theory and actually get a real match. Yeah, true. But what? Yeah, yeah. So Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn. Um, I think it's going to be wild. I think I think Johnny Knoxville is going to. They're just going to do some insane stunt. We're talking about the <laughs> jackass guy here. We're I know, some right? Insane stunt. <laughs> Who's what in his mid forties? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, if he's right, maybe. I'm wondering if they're going to pre-tape some of that. Probably, just to protect it. You know, just like they did Hyper and. uh gold dust back in the day you know just for the stunts you know what i mean you don't you don't want a stunt to go wrong um and you know a ton of this will be backstage so um i just it, it, i again they i gotta do it they got, i mean that's gonna draw them some viewers i guess but. yeah i guess i i've never been a fan of bringing in so many celebrities i want to see them make stars and us care about them i cannot tell you if there was a celebrity on when the when austin and rock went out at wrestlemania because that was the attraction you know i i don't care about seeing johnny knoxville fighting Sami Zayn. i just don't i'm not interested in it no why would you be i mean i don't care about johnny knoxville to fight and i mean Mm. honestly i haven't cared about Sami Zayn for real in two years yeah, I mean, Sammy Zayn is basically on the level of Kevin Owens. It's like no matter what he does, he's just good. But still, what the heck has he done? You're right. Yeah. What is, what, right. what, what has he done? Yeah. Uh oh. No bias. There you go. Oh, I, I, there I was going to say, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm but like, with, but with Sammy, like, what is his career shown? Mm-hmm. Solid worker, mid card. Yeah. So I'm saying, but in the last, even the last few years, like, you know, like, okay, like when you used to do these celebrity things, it was mm-hmm. Jerry Lawler at the top of his game going against Andy Kaufman, who was also right. a top nine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. it used to be when these things happened, it was for a reason. Yeah, right. This is just, you know it's a money grab. and It's just to have a celebrity at the most stupendous two-night WrestleMania in history. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean. It's, if somebody had to draw the card to do it, which honestly, let's be real, a win or a loss for Sammy, who gives who gives right. a damn? Right. right. Exactly. So Sammy might be the one guy who could absorb a loss to Knoxville if that's where they wanted to go with. Yeah. First Edge, one, when, go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was I was I, ready to move on to Edge to Age. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I wouldn't put Knoxville over because I actually want to respect my wrestlers. Even yeah. like it'd be like basically the equivalent of if you're the NBA, right? And you say, okay, you got some celebrity common, no, not common. Uh, what's it? J. Cole, for instance, like doing the NBA, Africa stuff, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Now, J. Cole says, I want to do a one on one with the worst NBA, you know, the lowest ranking NBA player ever. If I'm the NBA, I want that guy to beat J. Cole. Absolutely. Absolutely. Abusively. You know what I'm saying? What if it was, like, what if it was like, Justin hey, man, Bieber? Just what if so it was- you know. Don't ever come here again, okay? Yeah, I'm right. All right, because even <laughs> whatever house. you consider yes. is our lowest rated player can still demolish you, okay? Right. Precisely. That's right. what I would do if I were WWE with this match, but that's probably not what they're going to do. So, Exactly. 
Edge and AJ. That'll I'm be good. This. It'll be, be good. a great match. Yeah. What does it I mean? Like, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, it means nothing, yeah. but still. Yeah. It, I mean, they've just kind of built up kind of a grudge match thing with Edge turning heel, but you got two guys who can go. AJ Styles, I think, is the most underrated, maybe underappreciated guy on the roster. This guy, whether he's heel or face, and he just, he's like, you know, I hate to say he's the ex wrestler of whatever, but he's the Shawn Michaels, man. He's going to go in there and he's going to entertain you and he's going to just put out a banger every single time. So I'm looking forward to seeing AJ and Edge. Yeah, it'd be a great match. Uh, very impressive about AJ Styles. Not only is a good wrestler, but he came back from the dead. Remember, Undertaker killed him. Undertaker buried him. Undertaker yeah. killed him. He yeah, still I came mean- back. And then, and then, like two weeks later, he came back. It's like, yeah, so what? That didn't mean anything. Come you know, it'd be funny. God. This would actually be funny if they had like Edge and AJ in the ring, ready to go. But then that's when they introduce the Hall of Famers, and you know, you hear the bong for Undertaker since he's going into the Hall of Fame, and just have AJ react like, <gasps> oh, no, not again, not again. <laughs> yeah, that would be, be pretty good. It would be funny. Or do you have like Undertaker in the match, whatever? Yeah. But I mean. Brock Roman. Roman's going to win, but this is winner take all. So that what are they going to do? Are we not going to have um, separate champions anymore? I think for a while. Ooh. I think they'll go back to it. I think they'll go back to it. I don't know how they go back to it, but I think they'll go back to yeah, it. I mean, whatever. They'll go back. They won't go back. But I'm okay with, I guess, a universal champion again. Mm. I don't, okay I don't mind that. there being a single champion for both brands as long as – or is it a case where – I mean, see, I don't know. I mean, you're, you're, it's a unified title. You're calling it unification. But if you fight a Raw guy, is it the WWE title? If you fight a SmackDown guy, is it the Universal title? Yeah. Uh, I mean, what if you keep it unified? I mean, or I guess maybe – Or you keep it unified, right. Well, I mean, well, I was, but here's the thing. It's up to what they say it is. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Because they could say, okay, Roman Reigns won this match. He holds the universal title. But there's still a SmackDown title and there's still a Raw title. Roman also mm-hmm. holds those two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so maybe, you can do that. Right. It's kind of like we do like in boxing, right? Like we do WBC, mm-hmm. WBO, whatever. And then yeah. you lose the WBC championship, but you're still the overall. Then you go fight somebody else. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can do whatever they want to do. Roman okay. is stale. They need to do something. It's this. Is it's he? been the same thing for for two years now. When it, when, when it first you happened, right. it was cool. But it's like, my right. goodness! No, 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 no! You got to be patient here. All right, be a little patient. I know it's been a while. The yes. slow burn on this, and again, I do not have high hopes for WWE doing the right thing here. Yeah, but also, but they the could pandemic. do the right thing. They could do the right thing here. Because Rome, Roman's got to beat Brock. He has to beat Brock. Brock he is not to. the one to get the win over Roman because whoever, and I don't even know who it is yet, but whoever beats Roman Reigns is a made star because of the longevity he's had with this character, this gimmick, and how dominant he has been with it. So when the guy right. that beats Roman is made. When Roman who, loses, who is that? It'll, it'll be. It's got to mean like something. It's battery in the back. It's got to mean something huge for building your next mega star. Right, because you because because honestly, Brock doesn't need a belt to be relevant. He doesn't. No, know. absolutely. If he not. wants to show up. He's relevant. It doesn't matter who he mm-hmm. fights. Whatever. Right. You're gonna watch it because it's Roman Reigns. I mean, excuse me, because Brock. Mm-hmm. You're gonna watch it. Who on the yeah. current roster could you think could pull it off? Who do you think it'll be? <sighs> That's a thing. That's it's like that's a sad part. Well, that's is Cody Rhodes on the Cody Ross? Cody Ross? No, just kidding. Check that out. Yeah. He's on the Cody Ross again. That might be interesting. Okay, that so let's insane. let's be real though. It's not like Roman Reigns is an unbeatable giant. Okay. No. He's not. He's beatable. Okay. Just so, not for the last two years. Yeah. Well, yeah. But he is. I mean, you can you can picture. I mean, nobody, what the character nobody. Roman Reigns has been. I mean, there's guys could beat Roman Reigns. Edge, Edge could beat Roman Reigns. AJ Styles is believable to beat Roman Reigns. 
Uh, Lashley is definitely believable to beat Roman Reigns. I mean, so almost, maybe Lashley's the guy. That way they could do it. Of course they could take almost, but I don't know that almost is ready to carry that ball just yet. I think he needs, I don't think they should, like they made the mistake with the fiend. They rushed him to the title. They should not do that with almost, mm-hmm. you know, don't rush it. You don't have to with this guy. I go to get there. Um, you know, Rey Mysterio could be Roman. I'm kidding. I mean, I mean, Re- I'm, I mean kidding. Randy could, I'm kidding. I mean, Randy Orton could catch him. You know, get yeah, him with Orton could catch, right? But but Orton has nothing to gain. You don't. What does Orton gain from beating Roman Reigns? Matt nothing. Riddle, as he turns on Orton, and then now he goes. Riddle, and he, you do Rollins. Riddle right. You do Riddle uh, right. If you though. do Riddle, Riddle right, you could. You, he could do it. You could okay. build him um, to the next mega starter if he beats Roman. Yeah. Yeah, but but, could be that but, if, but if, if Riddle does it, do you kind of turn turn him heel to do it? No, At some point, no it has to be a face know? that beats Roman. Okay. Uh, you, you could you could re, you could build up Seth, yeah. uh, Seth Rollins, um, Bobby Lashley. You could rebuild him. You, you could, see, like you Rollins could, you, you doesn't could, need it. Rollins doesn't need it. Lashley true. Lashley could benefit from it. I think Lashley could benefit to be the next level mega star. He's already yeah. a star. Yeah. Okay, he's already made a vet. He, you, you want to build that next level guy? He could be that here's, guy. Here's how about Drew McIntyre? That would be interesting. I'm done with him. I mean, I am. I mean, I get it, but I get what you're saying, Dean. But I don't think Joe is wrong here. Again, but it depends on who you want to build up and what you want out of. Okay, if, if Drew McIntyre is more of a badass rather than just the smiling guy, okay. But give me Drew McIntyre as a even as a face, as a badass, okay? Yeah. I don't I don't want him smiling and goofing around. I want him just drilling people. I mean, I will say this, I don't mind a wisecracker too. But every once in a while, but yeah, but sometimes it goes too far end. until like it's yeah. like, dude, it's in the comic book team. Like I want to believe because I mean, like, I like it when a guy like that is like, okay, I'm gonna talk this shit to you. Then yeah. But Drew would benefit from defeating Roman. Absolutely. I mean, you can you can build people up. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, and listen to the crowd. You know, you gotta listen there too. But I have a feeling that even still come SummerSlam, we're still gonna be seeing some iteration of Brock and Roman. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I don't think it over, right? Or, or maybe not. I don't know. I don't think they have a, <laughs> I mean They've wrestled, I think, like 10 times or something like yeah. that. I mean, if it's not, I mean, I know it's now, different because Brock is a face now and, and, and you know, Roman's a heel. And so they're, they're doing it a little bit different. But still, it's like we've seen these guys many times. Yes, absolutely. I, is there anybody outstanding there who has a beef with Brock or Roman that could interfere in this match and cause, cause it to go one way or the, the other? The Rock. You set Ooh. up, you bring the Rock in to this match to interfere in some way and then you could set up next year's Wrestlemania which I believe is in Los Angeles okay mm. okay you want the Rock and Roman okay I, I it's in LA yeah gotta do something big got, I mean Stone Cold in Texas you gotta have a Rock gotta, in LA right? you have you have yeah <laughs> You, I mean, have, you, yeah, yeah, you don't have to though. You don't have to. You have Roman. You have Roman and Rock night one. You have Will Smith and Chris Rock night two. Exactly. You're good. But will it? It won't be the most stupendous WrestleMania two night WrestleMania of all time. Maybe they go three night. Maybe they'll do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ooh. Then it will be the most <laughs> stupendous <laughs> three most night three WrestleMania <laughs> events of all time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Guys. <laughs> are we are we doing this again next week to recap? Uh, sure, man. I'm into it, man. Yeah, yeah let's sure, do this. Sure. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. I'll see you. All right. We'll see you.